My name is Chris Chabar, and I'm the CTO co-founder of Athena Security. I'm here today to actually show you how to evaluate and test the metal detector correctly. I'm going to use the actual standard from the National Institute of Justice. What is the National Institute of Justice? The National Institute of Justice is the research and development and evaluation agency of the United States Department of Justice. So, explaining in the actual standard, it's the NIJ 0601.02, and the 02 is the newest version out, and they are working on the newer version, but right now 02 is the newest version. In there, it explains how to test a metal detector, and it says a lot of different things that you need to do. One of them is you have to have a clean tester. The first thing you need to do, a clean tester. What does that mean? That means a clean tester has all metal objects out of their pockets, everything. Everything has to be out. Once you do that, now you have a clean tester and you can continue. Next thing you're going to need to do after you have a clean tester is give them a test piece. This test piece is in the actual standard and it defines how to create it or you can call us and we'll send you one. This test piece is the AM7. There are different standards to catch different things and to test your metal detector for different items. Let's say you want to check just for rifles. There's a standard for that. But if you want to test compact and higher, this is the test piece you want to use. It's called the AM7 Security Level 2, and it's in the National Institute of Justice standard. Now, when you test a metal detector, you don't just walk through. You want to test at what's in the National Institute standard for testing. Look at this document. See right here, it says test here, 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 and then you're going to be very good. Now, when you do it, you're going to change the access, as according to the document also, it tells you how to change the access when you're actually testing it. So you're going to go first like this, and then you're going to change the access, and you're going to go like this, and you're going to do that at every level, including the ground. Because if you don't test the ground, that could be on someone's ankle. And if you don't test the hat, it could be underneath someone's hat. So you want to test every single place that someone can have it as according to the National Institute of Justice. Now, by doing this, you're testing the sides and the center. The center is usually the weakest point of all metal detectors, especially at this height. Knowing that every metal detector is different, you want to test everything. No matter what position or what type of metal detector it is, you want to test everything. I'm going to go, do, go ahead and speed this up real quick, and you're going to see me come through this like a hundred times. In the standard, it does say it takes 66 hours to fully test a metal detector, and that's doing a lot more than what I just showed you. But if you do what I just showed you, it's going to tell you whether that metal detector is going to pass or not, and that's what you really need to know. One of the things that you want to do to test a metal detector is disassemble a weapon and have it go piece by piece through the metal detector one at a time. Now to disassemble a weapon, I'm going to show you right here how to disassemble a weapon. Do piece by piece, take each one of those pieces and walk through the metal detector and make sure it gets detected at least one of those pieces. It doesn't have to go off on every piece, but it does have to go off on one piece. It doesn't matter which one it does, but it needs to go off on one of them. Now some things you shouldn't do, stand here and just go like this. Why? Because it's not always a true test going like this. This is a magnetic field. It could be different types of metal detectors do different things. So you want to fully start and come through each time. Each time you go through, you want to go around and go through it properly. And then you're going to be set.